welcome to So Much Fun. You know, I teach sewing and I've had some new students ask me about darts. And it got me thinking, you know, I just take for granted that if you sew, you know about darts. But that isn't true. For beginners, they're saying, well, why do you need a dart? And so I just tell them, darts are needed to provide shape to fabric and uh, the most common dart you're going to think about is the bust. But you also have darts at the waist. Anytime you need to change the shape of the fabric from being flat to a curve. So we're going to begin with just your standard bust dart. And we have to know how to trace that dart in order to be able to sew it. I have a pattern here for a blouse. And this blouse has two darts. It has a side bust dart and then it has a vertical contoured dart. So we're going to begin with it. And I, all I need to do, I've got the pattern piece cut out. So now I need to trace the dart. And I'm going to use tracing paper and a tracing wheel and a ruler. So you obviously want to put your markings on the wrong side of the fabric. Don't put it on the right side of the fabric because those markings won't come out. So I'm going to assume that the inside of this, it will be the wrong side of the fabric. So I can slide this tracing paper inside and you want to use a uh, tracing paper that's a color you can see. You don't want it to match your fabric color. You want to make it easy for you to see. And you can tell that this is a multi-size pattern. And so you just use the line and they're really close together. So you have to be quite careful. And when you trace a dart, they're straight lines for the most part, you want to use a ruler. You can't trace a dart freehand with your tracing wheel. So I place the, so I'm going to put that ruler right by the line that I want to draw the size. And I put my hand on that ruler to keep it in place. And then with my tracing wheel, I'm going through, you know, fabric and paper, two layers. So it is important that as you're uh, going down the line that you go back and forth, a rocking motion, keeping it by the ruler, and you're pressing down pretty hard, all right? And then we'll go over to the other side and trace it. And I'm trying to find that line and I think it's right there. Okay, so now we're gonna trace the other side. And we stop at the point. Now let's check and see what we got. I'm gonna look inside here. And we see there is the markings for the side bust start. If I take that away, this is just a little bit lighter, not much, because I'm using a new piece of uh, tracing paper, so it came through real well. But while we're here, we're also going to trace the uh, contoured double-pointed dart, because the way you sew it is different than the side dart. So I'm gonna turn this around to make it easy for me to um, draw make it easy for me to mark the dart and I'm going to start at the point and it has a little bit of a curve to it so I'll go as far as I can straight and then I've just turned the ruler just a little bit in order to keep it right on the line but you definitely need to have an edge for your tracing wheel to rest against in order to make it nice and straight. All right, now we're going to go on the other side and do it. And you know, it's going to depend too on the kind of fabric you have. Uh, if you have uh, something like wool, uh, corduroy, uh, something thick, uh, you'll probably have to make adjustments for how you're going to do the tracing, if you can even trace, because sometimes you cannot trace. And we'll talk about that after we've gone through just doing the basics here with the darts. 
All right, now let's take the pattern off of our fabric. And I can already tell you that I have retraced one of the darts a second time because the dart was longer than my tracing paper. And I didn't realize that at the time that I needed to adjust the pattern of the tracing paper. And therefore, when I tried to redo it, I wasn't matching up. And so I just got another color. You, you don't want to use the same uh, tracing paper color because you'll never figure out what line you're on. So you've got to change your, your tracing paper if you have to retrace that same dart. So it, it, you will get too confused and it, it just won't work. But we're going to start with the side bust dart. After you've traced your dart, uh, you, there's a couple of ways you can do it before you go to the sewing machine. And I used to have students uh, hand base the dart. I don't do that anymore. I think we can get by with just pinning. So you can see right now that I have the pins on one of the lines and stop at the dart at the uh, point. You stop at the point. Now I'm going to take it and bring that pin over to come out to the other line. So we just go along like that all the way down the dart and at the point I just pin it to mark that this is my target. All right, once and I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to change the direction of the pin because I know when I go to the sewing machine, I'm going to start at the edge of the of the wide part of the dart and go to the point. We would definitely would not start at the point. So I'm going to bring these pins around like that. And now we'll be ready to go to the sewing machine. I've positioned the fabric under the foot at the line of the dart on the outer edge of it. And I have my needle down, my foot down, and I'm going to take a stitch first. And now we want to reverse back. So we're going to use the reverse button and go back to the edge. All right, once we've gone to the edge, we're ready to come forward because you have to secure this. You don't want those first few stitches to come out. And it's very easy. You've got your groove in the center of your foot and you've got your line that you've traced on your fabric and you just keep one right on top of the other. When you get close to a pin, remove it. Don't, don't sew over those pins. So I'm just gonna go right along here, come to the next pin, take it out. And we're coming to the point and you wanna get as close to that point, which is at the fold, as you possibly can. You don't want there to be a gap of fabric. Come on, one more stitch, I think, which is actually off, and that's fine. Now, I'm gonna raise the foot and turn around, and this is my way of securing it at the point. There's a lot of people like to do a, a hand knot. I don't. I would turn it, and then I try to sew in between the folded edge and where the stitches are for the dart. It would be literally impossible to sew a uh, reverse on that uh, stitched line. And let's cut our thread now and look at it. All right, now we're gonna look at it. We can see we've got just three or four stitches right here at the fold. And now when we open it up, we see we have our dart and we'll press that. And when you press, you press the dart, either you're pressing it down, since this is at the side, that will be pressed down. The contoured uh, double pointed dart will be pressed toward the center. Now we have a contoured dart. And I'm sure you'll notice that we have two different colors here. We've got red and we've got blue. And the reason uh, for that is that when I traced the first time with the red tracing paper, the length of the paper was not as long as the length of the dart. So uh, 
I had to change colors because if I didn't, I even you can see here that they didn't match up. So you can get confused if you use the same color and you have multiple lines from several attempts. So we go with the blue. Now I'm gonna put in the center, I'm gonna start in the center and I'm going to put pins in. This is the line nearest me. I'm just gonna go along here, put those pins in. Of course, we're gonna mark where the point is on each end. And since we have two points, we can't start at the edge of the fabric like we did for the other dart. All right, now that we get this one here, now we fold it up. And I'm gonna to look to see, as I bring that through here, then I'm gonna be on the other line, right? On the blue line, right there. Like that, and pin it down. All right, I have pinned uh, on the dart, putting the pin on one side and bringing it out on the other. And remember, I'm following the blue line, not the red line, because I didn't have my uh, tracing paper positioned as it should have been. So by having the pin on both lines, now all I have to do is fold it up and then bring the pin over to secure it like this. And then of course the point. Now when we do a double pointed dart, we're not starting at the edge of course, we're going to start in the middle and go there. So we're gonna say this looks like the middle of the dart. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hold our, our thread, put the foot down and take a stitch. And let's do a couple more. I'm not going to reverse because I'm gonna come back to the same spot and I'm gonna go over it. So that's the same as reversing. So we're just gonna go forward here. We're following the blue line. Take the pin out as we come to it. out and this started all the way down it's almost to the uh, edge of the fabric all right now remember what I did before I'm going to turn it around and there is just not, not enough there so in this case uh, I'm going to let's see raise up my foot a little bit more so I can raise up my needle, and I'm gonna come on down here. Or we could, in this situation, it might best be best to do the hand knot. So I'll pull the thread out, I'll change my mind here, and then you can just do a hand knot. And either way is acceptable. You, you just have to go with, you know, the type of fabric you're working with. Uh, it, you know, that can uh, determine how you're gonna do it. Three times is best. All right, tied it. And then I'm going to cut it off. Just leave a little bit of thread there, like that. You don't want bulk at your points. That's what you want to remember. Now we're going to flip this over like this. Now we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to put the foot down, hold the thread right here, make a stitch, and we're going to keep on going on the other side. Actually slow down when I'm getting to that point. All right, again, there's just not enough there to be able to do that turn and make stitches, so I'm not gonna cut the thread. I'm going to uh, raise the foot, raise the needle, and pull out the thread, and then we'll do another uh, hand knot. So on the first one, see, and I went over some of the stitches, so that is the same as reversing. And then when you press this, you're going to be pressing toward 
the center. You'll turn it over like this and you'll press it toward the center and the other dot will get, uh, dart will get pressed down. I hope this has uh, given you some uh, guidance in how you do darts. And I would really recommend that you make samples. And see, it can be something very small like this, very tiny, but it has the dart and it will help you in the future if by some chance that you might forget exactly what you're to do, then you can refer to that. Please like and subscribe to my channel and have so much fun.